The kind of truss rod I'm using on this guitar is one of these spoke wheel. Now that will not fit in a regular Telecaster body. You need a cutout right here. So I've made a jig. Neck this fits into the neck pocket. I'll run some screws through and this router will sit right in there and cut that pocket out. If I was using a neck like this that has the adjustment up here at the head, I wouldn't need a pocket for the spoke wheel or the kind that just has a screw on the end. What I like about these truss rods, this is one of the easiest ones to use, especially if you're a first time builder. <clears throat> that double sided tape sure works. I good. took the heel of the simulated guitar neck and made it meet the center line. Then where the center lines met, I drilled with a 7 8 Fostner bit. These side rails are 3 16 wider on each side from the router base, which is 6 inches. So my total width between here is 6 and 3 8 Router bit I'm using is a 7 30 seconds, almost a quarter of an inch. And when that's Outside of here, I've allowed it to move the width of the router bit. I have drawn center lines all the way down through the back and the front of this. Center line on the guitar, so when you put this together, you can double check your lineup. Double check. The base of the router is made to fit right down in between these rails, which holds it in place and keeps it from going too far in and too far out wide. Looks pretty clean. Let's check it out. Fits right in there. All right. There you go. And you'll have to have a cutout like that in your pit guard too. Well, that should be enough information for you to figure out exactly how this jig works. So, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Marvelous.